here today we talk about a topic that's crucial both for people with kidney disease in any stage and for those at risk for it maybe because they have diabetes or high blood pressure which is proteinuria in my videos i always try to focus on what can really make a difference for people suffering from kidney disease and the reason why i'm doing this is simple Science says that you can always improve your GFR even in stage 4 and 5 but only if you are able to keep certain levels under control. And one of the most important levels you absolutely need to keep under control if you want to improve is proteinuria. Proteinuria, also known as protein in urine or albuminuria, is the most powerful predictor of kidney function decline in all the stages and being a predictor is also the very first visible symptom of kidney disease what's even more important there is no improving if proteinuria level is not under control and this is true for people in all the stages of kidney disease so keep that in mind because what we are going to see today can really make a difference when it comes to proteinuria we will see what foods can help you we will see a huge breakthrough in the way proteinuria is managed and we will see a vitamin that can lower proteinuria levels by 34 percent so make sure you don't miss anything let's start with the foods there are just four foods that have actually been studied for their effect on proteinuria. Let's see what they are. Starting with flaxseed. If you don't know about this superfood yet, well, this small seed is truly incredible. Often recommended to those following a renal diet, flaxseed comes with many health benefits. Flaxseed is rich in fiber, alpha-linolenic acid, and lignans, a type of polyphenols with antioxidant properties. And these nutrients have been observed to produce huge benefits when flaxseed is consumed regularly. Flaxseed can lower your blood pressure, it can also help with sugar levels and cholesterol. Yes, it's a true superfood! What's more incredible is that, in a study on people suffering from lupus nephritis, those eating flaxseed every day for just 4 weeks were able to lower their proteinuria levels significantly as well as their creatinine levels. Now, lupus nephritis is a type of inflammatory kidney disease and researchers believe that any kidney patient may benefit from the property of this small seed. But remember that, to add it to your diet, you need to crush or green flaxseed. Or you can try flax meal. Another food with incredible benefits when it comes to proteinuria, ginger. Ginger is a must in any renal diet in my opinion. Recent research is linking ginger to a plethora of health benefits. It can drastically lower blood sugar levels on the long term, essential for those with diabetes. It helps lower cholesterol levels and it was also linked to lower proteinuria levels. Amazing what a little root can do! Just like for flaxseed, we believe that all these benefits are due to the incredibly powerful anti-inflammatory effect of ginger. Okay, up next is the only good source of a mineral that you really need. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are highly recommended to be included in a CKD diet by health professionals due to their significant amount of selenium. Selenium is a mineral that's been used to fight kidney disease and it also has an effect on proteinuria. You see, a deficiency in this mineral, which is pretty common, is considered a cause of kidney damage. And this small nut is not just delicious, it's also the best source in the world of this essential mineral. Just remember to eat just one maximum two of these per day as they are very rich in selenium and yes these foods are not just tasty they can actually make a difference so if you think this information is useful for you consider sharing this video with anyone you know who may also benefit from a healthier diet and also give it a like if you want another food that can help you is chia seeds 
Many seeds can be beneficial in a renal diet, but chia seeds are somehow special. Eating chia seeds regularly may improve heart health, reduce cholesterol levels, and even decrease the risk for developing diabetes and heart disease. And the reason why chia seeds are so good for you is simple. They're one of the best sources of a nutrient that's known to reduce proteinuria and that also slows down kidney disease progression. I'm talking about omega-3 fatty acids and these essential nutrients are incredibly good for you i recommend both eating foods rich in omega-3s such as chia seeds walnuts and even flaxseed and also supplementing omega-3s when it comes to omega-3 supplementation science is pretty clear omega-3 fatty acid supplementation is associated with a significantly reduced risk of end-stage renal disease and delays the progression of this disease this is what a large review of studies that included 444 kidney disease sufferers was able to prove researchers also pointed out that supplementing omega-3s was associated with a lower risk of proteinuria which is great by the way omega-3s are something i always recommend now it's important to notice that we are talking about supplements here because you see while omega-3s from nuts and seeds such as chia seeds or walnuts are great you still want to supplement there are so many kidney protecting benefits you could get from omega-3s and reducing proteinuria is only one of them now if you want to learn more about how to supplement omega-3s my video up here and also down in the description is for you. But don't go away yet! There was a breakthrough recently in the way proteinuria is managed. A new medication reduced proteinuria by over 30% in just 4 months in a trial involving 5,734 participants. So yes, I believe you should know about this. Before that, a very important question. How can I tell if my proteinuria is too high? As I was saying in the beginning of the video, your proteinuria levels may be used to predict how your kidney function is going to evolve in the future. And this level is just as important for those with CKD as for those who are at risk for CKD, maybe because they have diabetes or high blood pressure. And I bet you want to know how to tell if your kidneys are going to get better or worse. So let's see how you can read your proteinuria levels by yourself. Also known as albuminuria or proteinuria, this level is usually indicated on your blood analysis as ACR, but you could also find albuminuria. Once you have identified your levels, let's take a look at this table. What it tells us is that the lower the albuminuria, the lower the chances of progressing to a worse stage of kidney disease. And this is always true, no matter what stage of kidney disease you are in. So if this level is below 30 mg per gram, you're more likely in the green. Your kidneys are going to be stable in your current situation and an improvement may be possible. If this level is between 30 and 299 mg per gram, you are risking that your kidney disease will worsen. In this case, you are in the orange or red, depending on the stage. Now, when this level is over 300 mg per gram, well, this is bad. Being in the red is a reason for a concern. So the next question people ask at this point is, what should I do to make sure my levels are going to improve? What really works? As I was saying, there are dietary strategies, supplements, and a new medication that can really help. Let's see the diet first. Because another question that I always get is, I have proteinuria. Would reducing protein intake from the diet make it better? So we have seen some foods that can help you. But it's clear that we also want something more effective to take care of a problem as serious as proteinuria. And talking about the diet, there is one intervention that always gives great results. Limiting protein intake. Protein, animal proteins in particular, such as meat, eggs, and dairy products, can increase the workload of the kidneys. And this can cause more protein to leak into the urine. Limiting protein intake is strongly supported by scientific literature as a way to slow down and even stop the decline of GFR. It can greatly reduce the number of CKD sufferers who progress to end-stage renal disease.
says science. And yes, reducing protein intake also has a strong effect on proteinuria. Now, one may think that eating less protein directly reduces the amount of protein in the urine. And while this result is actually to be expected, the reason why reducing protein in the diet reduces the protein in the urine is more complex. Science says that in case of CKD, the less protein in the diet, the better the kidneys are going to work. This also means that they are going to leak less protein. But just because they are now more protected, not because there is, you see, less protein going around, Remember that the protein the kidneys may leak is from the body, not from what you eat. And let me know in comment section if you are following a low protein diet. Now the low protein diet is a big topic and it's extremely important for the health of your kidneys. This is why I've made a new video about it recently. I've also addressed some of the biggest concerns about this diet. My video is up here and also down in the description if you want to watch it. But don't go away yet, there has been a breakthrough in the way proteinuria is being managed that could make a huge difference, especially for those with diabetes. Let's take a look. Question, what's new about proteinuria in the world of medicine? A medication has recently been approved for people suffering from diabetes and kidney disease. What's incredible about it is that it can lower proteinuria levels drastically. A reduction of more than 30% in proteinuria is to be expected. This medication is called Finrenone, sold under the name Carendia. Today, it is used to reduce the risk of kidney function decline, kidney failure, cardiovascular problems in people with chronic kidney disease associated with type 2 diabetes. If you have diabetes and your proteinuria is high, you should really talk with your nephrologist about this new medication, especially because phenerenone can also be taken with Forexiga, another innovation in the field of nephrology. And we also know that combining these two can have a huge effect on delaying end-stage renal disease. By the way, there is currently a clinical trial ongoing to evaluate the effectiveness and safety of phenerenone in people with non-diabetic chronic kidney disease. So, in the near future, there is a possibility that all kidney disease sufferers may use this innovative medication to reduce their proteinuria. So, if you want to learn more about this, watch my video, it's up here and also down in the description. Time now to see a vitamin that is actually proven to help. Researchers have recently discovered that there is a vitamin that can significantly reduce the severity of proteinuria among people with CKD. Actually, every single kidney disease patient should be supplementing this one. Deficiencies are extremely common when it comes to vitamin D. Vitamin D really is the kidney vitamin. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to fatigue, frequent infections, bone problems, a dozen other nasty problems, and way higher proteinuria levels. And getting vitamin D levels back to normal can help fight diabetes, lowers hypertension, and it also protects the kidneys. In particular, what a recent study found out is that supplementing a special form of vitamin D could give incredibly effective results with proteinuria. But wait a moment before starting to take vitamin D3. There is something you absolutely need to know about this vitamin before taking it. Keeping the levels of this vitamin in the correct range is not always easy. You see, a recent study shocked the field of nephrology all kidney disease sufferers in this study had low levels of vitamin D. This is why, in the study I've mentioned earlier, people with kidney disease were given paricalcitol, a special activated form of vitamin D. What to do then? Get informed, find out if your levels are in the correct range. And I've researched this issue more in depth and there is a solution to it that works in most of the cases. And I've shared my findings in this video up here. Watch it now so I can show you exactly what to do. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.